NASA E46, NASA Mobile. Elusive Schlieren images of shockwaves streaming from NASA research aircraft flying at supersonic speeds is providing researchers a clearer understanding of the location and relative strength of those shockwaves. 15 seconds. NASA and Mobile coming. The images were gathered by twin telescopes and digital cameras at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center during tests of a ground-to-air Schlieren photography system developed under a NASA Small Business Innovation Research Project. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. Nice. When you have a glass of water with a straw in the water, you'll see the straw appear to be at one position below the water and a slightly offset position above the water, that's because of the density change. The same thing happens with the shock waves. When the shock wave passes through the edge of the sun image, you get a density change and the sun edge is distorted. We can take those pictures and visualize where all the shock waves are from the aircraft. The effort is part of the High Speed Project in NASA's Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate, which is working to reduce the intensity of sonic booms to make commercial supersonic flight over land practical.